Hello, my name's Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. In this video we shall cover the Spitfire Mark V's tail unit. As we work our way through, I shall give extracts from the 1942 Air Ministry Manual and also my relevant reworked colour AP diagrams. I hope you find this interesting. The Spitfire Mark V's cantilever tailplane is a stress skin construction. Built in halves and bolted inside the tail end of the fuselage, where the spars butt together and are virtually continuous. The box type front or main spar has channel section booms and plate webs. The rear or auxiliary spar is of channel section open to the rear. All the ribs are plate type with flanged edges and the top and bottom skins are each in one piece, the top skin being riveted to the ribs and spars, and the bottom skin being secured by wood screws to spruce members on the ribs. A leading edge strip is riveted to the top skin and screwed to anchor nuts on the bottom skin. A root end fillet is riveted to the tailplane and secured to the fuselage and fin by screws. Here is a view of the lead counterweight located on the port side of the tail unit assembly. Here we have two views showing the underside of the fuselage looking after the tailplane from the starboard side and the port side. Now we have a view of AB910's rudder trimming tab access panel located in the starboard tail fin. And here's an AP diagram showing the trimming tab gear which is located at the stern post. Here we can see the access panel fitted again, a nice side on view of the tail unit assembly. The IFF, that's Identification Friend or Foe, aerials run out from the fuselage to the outer leading edge on both the port and starboard tailplane. Here's a close-up view of BM597's port IFF aerial anchor point. The elevators are of light alloy construction with a fabric covering and comprise of a single unit which is hinged to the tailplane at four points. The spar is a continuous member of a built-up D section with diaphragms at the rib positions. All the ribs have tubular booms and bracing members and their tips are joined by a trailing edge member. Tubular bracing members are also fitted diagonally between the spar and the trailing edge. The horn portions of the elevators are formed with plate ribs and are covered with a metal skin as is the leading edge portion and the edges of the rudder gap at the centre. A metal trimming tab covered with fabric is fitted in the trailing edge of each elevator on spigots attached to the elevator ribs. The actuating rod and lever are covered by a fairing on the top skin of the elevator. Here's a view showing the elevator horns on AR501. And another, this time on AB910. Here we have detail of BM597's port centre, showing the elevator joining spar that follows through to the elevator lever and then on to the starboard elevator. This AP diagram illustrates this. And now a close-up view of BM597's inner starboard elevator hinge. And here the outer starboard elevator hinge. The rudder is of a horn balance type with a lead weight on the horn portion. 
The construction is similar to that of the elevators, consisting of a metal leading edge and horn portion and a main covering of fabric. The rudder is hinged to the stern post at two points and has a trimming tab mounted in the trailing edge similar to the elevator tabs. As with the elevator tabs, the actuating rod and lever are covered in a fairing, in this case on the starboard side of the rudder. The tail navigation lamp is enclosed in a housing at the bottom of the trailing edge, as shown here. Here's a view of the stenciling marks on BM597's port side of the upper rudder. And the same again, but on the starboard side. And now we have a close-up view of the rudder connecting rod and fairing. Here's a view of the top of AB910's rudder. We can see the location of the ID plates, shown on the starboard side. And now a close-up of the ID plate. Located behind a clear panel, it gave details of the manufacturer of the rudder assembly. Here's a view of the rudder trimming tab looking from the starboard side. And finally, close-up detail of the upper rudder hinge taken from the port side of BM597. Well that's it for this video. I do hope you found it interesting. If you'd like to, please click the free subscribe button below and also like to get notifications when future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.